Hello and welcome to another video. So this video is going to follow up from the upper garment uh, five minute video I did about a month ago and this is following up on a question that was posted by um, I can't remember the person's name TikTok funny I'm going to go with but I don't think it's the name but anyway they asked basically the question if you've got the upper garment but you want to put your own image in instead of what's already on the filter then how do you do that so I was completely baffled as well for a split second actually I'd say half an hour um, I looked into it and it's actually relatively simple to do so I'll just quickly do that now and show you but what you're going to do is what we're going to do is we're just going to change the image and we're going to change it for the from image picker this should then automatically when you open up your device it should then automatically say right do you want to put an, uh, an image in here uh, and it should give you that option then you select that image and then you're done and then once we've done that I'll then show you something else I played around with and realized that if I take this out and put that in you get what you want so we'll do it really quick so uh, just as a reminder here's the upper garment test it's not too bad um, I'm wearing a shirt today not a t-shirt so you've got the color and contact but there's my thing before now one thing I did note was that the best thing to do if you just want to have one image and not the tiled effect is on the right hand side in the inspector make sure it's set to fit which is just under the image blend mode and I've currently set that to normal I've set the scale to one I've uh, adjusted the size slightly and I've adjusted the offset of the Y so that's the up and down okay so what we're going to do over on the left hand side under resources um, we're going to hit the little plus icon and then I'm going to type in uh, from image picker that will then add it to the resource list and then back on the right hand side in the inspector under image under the image texture instead of with the image I have selected at the moment I'm going to tap it and then I'm going to change it to image picker I'm going to hit OK what that will do instantly is it will want to say right you need to change the image right because when you open the filter it will automatically do this now right so that's it if I publish the filter now and if any of you guys use it um, not that I've actually got that many filters but if you did go and use it the first thing it would essentially do on your device it says um, allow this filter to access your photos and then it would then place the image that you selected in exactly the spot you want it done. Now, the second part, I think you can spot what's the issue now is that, well, actually, if you look at it, I've got my red background color and then my image is being distorted. So, well, not even distorted, it's being blended in, right? And it looks completely ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, obviously these are the default images that come with it, but you're losing the, the color, right? You're losing the detail of the image. So what can you do to resolve that? Took a little bit of fiddling, but basically what I did was, um, if you go over to the left-hand side, back under the, um, I don't know, object stage view, and uh, click on garment design, uh, place art here, right? Select that, and under that, it's gonna have a script. Now, this script says, this script automatically sets the object layer and enables alpha on each object. Disable the script if you want to set the properties manually. So I'm going to delete the script. So now it's got rid of it, nothing's changed yet. If I go back over to uh, pattern image edit me, which is on the left-hand side, brings it up on the right. I'm then going to go to the image background color and drag it all the way down and set it to zero. And now you can see that the image quality has come back. So we can actually see the details of the image. So then um, if I wasn't using the image picker, and let's just say I had an actual image, I had different colors in it like this one, you can now see my actual design. So there you go. Um, I guess the next thing, if I ever get around to learning how to do it, would be how can you hard place the icon, right? Hard place the logo or the image you've got so it looks okay where you positioned. But honestly, if you just want to do a quick photo and you've got a plain enough uh, t-shirt, I've got a black one under here, probably should have done the test with that um, it would probably look pretty good so there you go thanks for watching guys see you next time